I was asked how I make the stitching on my baseball cap, so I figured I would just give a short instructions on how I actually do it. So I'd grab my shape and I create an offset. Now I want a negative offset fairly close to the original edge of my piece. So mine is 0 0.1. That's probably about right. From that offset, I create another offset. Oh, let's just change color so you can see what I'm doing. So from this I create another offset, but I want this one even tighter. So let's go with 0 0.04. So I don't need my shape right away. So I'm going to grab the two offset layers that I've just created, do a line center to make sure they're properly positioned and slice. Then I'm going to take away the center parts. I don't need those anymore. Since I want to create stitching just on the bottom portion, I'm going to grab a rectangle and I'm going to resize it, position it over my piece, and take away the section I don't want by grabbing both of them and clicking on Slice. I don't need that portion anymore. Now I'm going to grab another rectangle. I'm going to unlock proportions. I'm going to make myself a very thin rectangle, and let's say 0. 0, 4. So this represents the spacing between my stitches. I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to rotate it and this will represent the actual size of my stitch. So I want a little bit longer. Let's round it off to 4 degrees. So this portion here is the distance between my stitches. Since I've decided on a rotation of 4 degrees, I'm just going to keep that consistent. So I'm going to duplicate it I'm going to rotate 8 degrees. I'm going to duplicate it again and I'm going to rotate 12 degrees. So I'm just increasing a rotation of 4 degrees each time until I have enough of these lines to go from the center of my arc to the edge. I've duplicated and rotated 4 degrees for all these lines. I'm going to select them all, align, center. And I have enough of them to create half of my arc. So I'm going to grab, group, duplicate. I'm flipping the duplicate horizontally and then I'm going to grab them both, align, center. I'm going to weld those. Then I'm going to take another shape I don't need the top portion of those lines. I just need from the center on down, slice the top portion away. And then I'm going to position my offset piece over my lines, align center horizontally, and slice. So I'm taking away the pieces I don't need. And this creates my curved stitch line. Now for the straight st stitch line, it's so much easier. Take a rectangle and unlock proportion. Make it nice and skinny. That's, you want to make it wider than your piece. And you want it at 0 0.04 again. And we're going to duplicate that. I'm going to align left. So I want these lines to span from the top of this line to the bottom of this line. Align, distribute vertically. And let's see how that looks. I like the size of those stitches. So I'm just looking at the space between the lines. Those will be the size of my stitches. You know what, I think I could use another line. So I'm going to duplicate. I'm just going to put it randomly inside my lines. Left distribute vertically and that's better. I'm clicking on weld and putting my piece in position then slice. So now I have my stitch pieces. I don't need this anymore and I'm just going to position this over the piece for my cap. Align, center horizontally, attach. Okay but as it stands all these little rectangles are going to cut out of your piece. So you want to go to your layers panel and then click on pen. So your Cricut 
will draw these stitch lines along the edge of your cap. And that's how I do my stitching.